Hi, I'm Trish from Honey Pies Recipes, and today we're going to be talking about lettuce. We're going to start with what are called tight head lettuces. So that's typically your iceberg, your radicchio, and because the Belgian endive grows so close together, I'm going to include this in this group because they will all be cleaned and stored the similar way. Iceberg is the ubiquitous lettuce. It's everywhere. We see it in chopped salads. It's on sandwiches. When I was growing up as a kid, it was pretty much the only kind of lettuce that was available. So just look your lettuce head over. I removed this one outer leaf. It's a little bit wilted. You can even feel that it's, it's not crisp. It's very weak and limp. So we're just going to take that and discard that. But the rest of this is good. I'm going to take our knife, and this is the core. I'm just going to remove that by going around. Okay, and then I'm just going to rinse it just a little bit like this. And that's really all that it needs because it grows so tight. And because we chop the lettuce typically or serve it in wedges, I'm just going to cut this in half. Okay, if you were doing a steak wedge, you could cut it into quarters. Put that on your plate with a little bit of your Thousand Island dressing and you've got a very classic wedge salad. But for now, that's really all you have to do. And I can store this in a plastic bag that I have a little piece of damp paper towel on the bottom. The paper towel will just keep the moistness uh, in the bag, but the water away from the lettuce so that it doesn't rot. This is a radicchio. This is an Italian uh, lettuce. Again, I'm just going to remove these wimpy outer leaves. This is a slightly bitter lettuce compared to the iceberg. The iceberg, probably the texture is what's more appealing about it. it it's very crisp and crunchy, but it's very mild in flavor and go with almost any kind of a dressing, particularly the creamier kinds of dressings you'll see with it a lot. The radicchio it has a bitterness to it. It's most commonly used in a salad, like a tricolor salad. So you'll get the arugula, you get the radicchio, and you get the Belgian endive. And it's a wonderful mixture together, and you can put a nice balsamic vinegar on it, and the sweetness of the balsamic is a great foil for the bitterness of this kind of lettuce. So same thing, I'm going to remove the core here. So I'm going to take a smaller knife with this because the core and the, the head of lettuce are much smaller. And this is much tighter than the iceberg lettuce. So I'm going to stick my knife in and I'm just going to cut around the core. So just twist it around and take your core out. I'm just going to give that a little bath right there. I'm going to cut this in half. And again, we're going to store that here. And I'm going to leave that open because I'm going to store the endive with it. This is Belgian endive. And when you see it in the store, uh, usually they just call it endive. But there's another kind of endive that is um, very bushy, uh, very frilly lettuce, similar in color. It has uh, paleness to the bottom and uh, these light green fronds, but very, very frilly. So this is really Belgian endive, and they're both bitter lettuces. These are very tight heads. They have a little core on the bottom, and as you go through, the leaves become shorter and shorter through the center, so that you keep removing the core if you want the whole leaves. Or what I prefer to do when I make the tricolor salad is I like to chop the radicchio, and then I like to make little slices this way with the endive. I think it just tosses into the salad better. However, you can do just the leaves. That's attractive also, but you do have to cut them in order to eat them. But the endive is also great to put a little filling in, a little chicken salad, a cream cheese filling for an appetizer. Very popular for that. When you buy them, they become brown very quickly and they're easily damaged. So handle them with care and don't buy them too far in advance, maybe a day, two. These I bought yesterday. So I'm gonna remove the outer leaves. They're a little bit brown. And sometimes you'll find that the tip, the very, very point 
there is a little brown. And sometimes I just cut that off and get rid of that. Okay. There. So that's good. And these just really just need a quick dip. This one I will cut for you to show you the leaves. And then later we're going to do a tricolor salad. Then I'll show you the slices. So I'm just going to take a thin slice off the bottom here and just begin to pull the leaves away. And you can see that already the core is here. So we just cut that away a little bit more. And this part of the core here, this is perfectly edible. Um, it's crunchy and it's good. So your leaves keep getting smaller and smaller. And that's one of the reasons that I like to slice it. I think I get more of the endive for my salad. But this is a very pretty presentation. It's really up to your personal choice whether you want to use the leaves or whether you're going to slice it down the middle.